marriage is about helping the other person to get better. Since you married your wife, how have you made her get better? Since you married your husband, how did he get better in your hands? That's how you know whether you are failing or succeeding. Husband, can I tell you, when your wife starts nagging, you are not moving. When women begin to nag, most often men are not taking steps. Every time a man is a mover, the wife becomes a celebrator. Women want to be the cheerleader when their husband is taking steps. So when you are not taking steps, you are frustrating her. She married you for a journey, not for where you are. Somebody said to me, Pastor, my wife is not respecting me because I don't have money. She's insulting me because I don't have money. I say it's not because you don't have money. She's not insulting you because you don't have money. Because you didn't have money when she said yes. Why the insult is rising now is that what she said yes to under her eyes is disappearing. A doctor came, she said no, believing you are going on a journey. An engineer came, other people came, but the way you were sounding, you look like someone that knows where he's going. Now she has married you three months into marriage, she's the one waking you up for midnight prayer. She's the one waking you up to go to work in the morning. And she's asking herself, did I leave all my dream to marry this person going nowhere? So her frustration begins to boil out. What women want is a man that goes out every day and brings back something, no matter how little. She's not about you bringing back the whole world, but she wants to see you taking action. Once you start taking action, your wife has hope that it's a better tomorrow. Men dream. Pursue the dream. Women are not frustrated if they see you in pursuit. They are only frustrated if you are not pursuing anything. 